guys and welcome back to my channel and today's video today I thought I would record a video where I show you guys my like top 10 worst products of 2017 or like my worst top 10 favorites worst top 10 favorites that's not a sentence that makes a lot of sense but I'm gonna show you guys 10 products that I didn't really like or love during 2017 so yeah without further ado let's get into the video um i think that you guys have seen a lot of these products if you are following my channel and watch me regularly or if it's like a ride or die on my channel but if you're not then um yeah, I'm gonna mention these products anyway. <laughs> but the first two products I'm gonna talk about are two products that I don't have in my possession, and I'm gonna start with the Sleek Highlighter Palette. I will insert a picture right here. Um, it's not the Solstice one, it's a new one that came out, I think it was this year anyway, and it's Cleopatra's Kiss. So it has two creams and two golden powder highlights, and the palette looks beautiful, and I was so intrigued. I bought it online, so I did not swatch it at stores. And if I were to swatch it in stores, I would not purchase it. I do have a like full face of first impression video where I tried it, and I will link it up here and also in my description box for anyone that's interested. But um, the problem I had with it is that the shade that would match my skin tone was not pigmented. It was not, I mean, it, it just didn't show up on my skin and I hated it. I have mentioned it in some other videos. It was just not good. And I don't get it why Sleek would do that since they have such a popular or such a like great reputation after the Solstice palette that they did that everyone loves. So here we have the Solstice one. Um, the Sleek Cleopatra's Kiss looks the same on the outside, but definitely not on the inside. I have hit pan on this one, but I mean, these three shades are so pigmented and they go on like blinding. I haven't used it a lot lately because I'm not into that like blinding highlight anymore but they are blinding they are cruelty free this palette is by the way vegan and it's just a like this is so much better so i don't get why they did that type of highlight the other powder highlight is all right but it's too dark for my skin tone so i cannot use it the next product i have is from golden rose and i actually got reached out or the company reached out to me and asked me if i would like to try some of their products and i said of course i would love to and they sent me a bunch of stuff so i did a first impression video on those products and i have also done a review like one month later when i got the chance to try the products a little bit more but the golden rose palette eyeshadow palette is not my favorite i didn't like it it was not a good palette in my opinion um the shadows just lacked pigment and you had to work a lot to make them blend and yeah i just didn't love them so i actually got rid of it so that they could have a better use of it because i know that it was just lie around in my drawers and that's just unnecessary. The rest of the products that I'm gonna talk about I do have in my possession and the first one is this. I don't think that anyone is surprised if you are a ride or die on my channel. I have talked a lot about the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and I do not like it. I like this if I can mix it with the LA Girl Foundation because that is super duper dewy and this is super duper drying. So if I can mix them, this is an alright foundation and that is why I still have it. Um, but this doesn't do anything for me. I think that they don't go easily on my skin. They just make my skin look very crocodile-y and it just makes my skin look very um, dry, patchy, and it, it just doesn't look great. And I struggle a lot to 
Um, when I'm putting my powders on, I hate it. I hate this foundation by its own. So this was definitely a mess for me, but I think that this will be all right if you have um, oily skin, then this would probably be a little bit better. I used to have very oily skin in my T-zone, but ever since I got a Frio cleansing device, my oily skin has like transformed into be non-existing. So now I would say that I have normal skin and and this doesn't do it for me. I hate it. So this is definitely a miss for me. The next product, I don't think that anyone is surprised about either because I have talked a little bit about these on my channel the last two, one or two months. And it's the Wet n Wild Cat Suit. I don't even know what this is called. Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit. And I have mine in the shades Give Me Mocha, Nudist Peach, and Coral Corruption. I bought three of them at the same time because I... Ah, I have had heard a lot of people talk about them and say that they were amazing and they were so affordable and that they were like their top liquid lipstick at the drugstore. And I tried them and I did not like them. I was actually planning on purchasing all of the ones that were avail available in Sweden, but I didn't. I ended up just purchasing three if I would not like them. And yeah, I didn't. I don't get it because they crumble on me. They like crack all over my lips and they just, after an hour, they go on, they just let go and I don't get it because I'm not drooling. I'm not doing anything weird. So I don't get it why they do that. So I would not recommend this even though they are very affordable. The fifth product I'm gonna talk about is this little brow thingy. This is from Pixie and this is their brow tamer. I think that this is called like brow tamer. And I'm just like, um, what? This doesn't tame any one. I did talk about this in some of my past videos that I was just super duper upset just because I had to fix my brows over and over. It's just like, this is almost like it's only a spoolie. I don't know, but the actual product doesn't do anything. So it's basically the same thing that brushing your um, brows with a spoolie. So I would not recommend this. And also I don't get why companies do these clear containers because you see how gross mine looks. It's like product all over in it from my brow. So I, uh, it just looks disgusting and I don't get it. I would not, if I were to design this, I would do something else. I would not do a clear container. It looks very pretty when you get it, but it's super duper disgusting when you have it like this and you have used it a couple of times. This product I used in my makeup tutorial with products I hate. I think this is called. This is the Ofra Skin Sculpting Wand. It comes in four different shades. So you have your contour shades and you have your concealer shades. This is super duper dry. It blends so harshly, or it's so hard to blend out, I mean. And I get like lines where the concealer has laid, so you have to be very, very quick to blend it out. But still, when you blend it out, it doesn't look great. And it just looks very, very dry. So I don't get it why they did this. I did also set my concealer with this powder. This is from LA Girl, and this is their Pro Powder High Definition Setting Powder. I purchased this because I heard a lot of people talk good about this and then I just ended up hating it. It's super duper dry. It, it's, it's, you know, I've talked about this a multiple times, but it's, I get that crocodile skin and it also makes every concealer that I use oxidize like crazy. So it's like it, it gets a lot uh, darker in, and I don't get it. Why does it do that? I would not recommend this. Yes, it's super affordable, but it's 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 so finely milled that it's like almost too finely milled. And also it's not HD. I did show you guys, I took a photo of me in that video, the like worst um, makeup tutorial with the worst products I do own or have, I don't remember. Uh, but I did show you guys, I took a photo uh, with a flash on and this is not HD guys. Definitely hate this one. Sorry guys, I did have a product to talk about that I don't have in my possession. I actually sold this product. And that is the um, Anastasia Moonchild palette. I did not like that and that is not for the formula or anything because I don't like those highlighter shades. I don't know what it's about them, but 
it has like <laughs> It had like one or two shades that was cute, but I never reached for it. I never used it. So I figured that why should I have it? It's just laying around. It has like the purple shade. It has like a blue shade. I think it had like a greenish and pink shade. The pink shade was cute. I think that shade was called like pink heart or something. That was very cute. So I, that one I liked. If I'm going to use a highlight that has a little bit of a sheen to it or that has another shade in it it's going to be a pink shade that i can use and that i can think is cute but the other ones like the bright purple purple horse or something that's just not my kind of highlights so i did not like that and i don't recommend that the ninth product I'm gonna talk about is from Beauty UK. You guys know that I love Beauty UK and I do get a lot of PR from them. Uh, so I did get this palette in PR, but as I have talked about a lot on my channel, I do always wanna be honest. So it doesn't matter if I get a product in PR or not. This product, however, is the Beauty UK Posh Palette number two in the shade Masquerade. And it has some cool toned shadows. It's nothing wrong with the actual like shades, the colors of the shades. It's just not my typical shades that I tend to reach towards. It's almost like the same thing as the Golden Rose palette. This, it, it lacks pigment. So you have to build the shadows up by, I mean, if you finger swatch, they are all right. They are nothing um, that I would spend my money on. The quality is just not there. So, I would not spend my money on this one. I don't like it and this was definitely a miss for me. As I said, the pigment, it's not there. You have to work a lot to blend the shadows out and no, I would not purchase this one. Now we're coming to the 10th and final product and this might be the worst of the worst. And it's the ColourPop Supernova Shadows. I have done multiple <laughs> videos on these products because when I bought them, I really wanted them to work, but they didn't work for me. So I have three videos on them, but the like, if you only want to watch the my final review, it's the Super Shock. I, I think that video is called like ColourPop Supernova Shadows Tutorial and Review. I will link it up here and also in my description box. Up here, I mean, and in my description box. Because these just don't work. They are beautiful and they are beautiful when they are swatched. I mean, look at this one. I have to show you guys the shade Moonlit as well because this one, oh my God. It's just beautiful. Look at that sheen and shade. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. But the thing is that it cracks like five minutes after you worn it, uh, it and then it falls out. If you apply it and then wanna blend it out with your shadow or blend it into the shadow so you don't have that harsh lines, it doesn't work. The shadow will crack and you will have it all over your eyelids. And if you make it work, then one hour later, it I mean, the shadow will crack and everything will lay on underneath here. So I, and I have tried all of these shades and they just don't work. They are definitely my like worst product of this year. I think in a way, because I had so high hopes for these and they just failed me miserably. So guys, that was all of the product that I had to share with you guys in today's video. Would you like me to do a video with like the best products of 2018 and 2017, I mean? Then I can do that, but let me know in the comments below. Yeah, that was all from me today. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video and follow me on my other social medias, which are linked in my description box. Um, but yeah, bye guys.